All right. Uh, at this time, I will highlight some of the first prisons ever built in California, as well as some of the reasons why these prisons were built. The discovery of gold in 1848 brought many things, uh, but the two main things it brought was people and crime. Uh, in order to fight crime, uh, California uh, had to uh, establish a prison system. Their first uh, prison ever built was San Quentin. This was built in Marin County in uh, 432 acres. Uh, this massive building was a five-story building made uh, for 3,300 inmates. But by, 19, by 1876, there was already 1,700 inmates. So uh, California began to uh, see the increase in criminals. So it had to change, or it had to make another prison. So that's when Folsom Prison was built. This was uh, not actually ran by the state. The state contracted through a Natsimus company. And this company was a mining company that was just looking for cheap labor. So they said they would build the prison and go in contract with the state. California, but California was going to allow convict labor to happen in order for a dam to be used. Um, Folsom Prison also was the first prison in California to receive the machinery in order to stamp a California license plate. And that was San Quentin right there, and that's Folsom Prison. This one was built a lot bigger because they had a way more uh, accessories and beginning stuff like that for inmates. Uh, this wasn't built for inmates that were murderers or rapists. This was built for uh, people that were serving just long sentences for maybe drug crimes or non-violent criminals. So they could be out and about. The Pelican Bay had to be built in order to house inmates that were serving uh, harsh or violent crimes. Uh, Pelican Bay was the first ever supermax facility built. This uh, facility was like a role model and in order for all the other states because every other state started adapting to this. It's a 23 hour lockdown with one hour for an inmate to have in order to wash or just go outside to a small cage and uh, it's right back to the cell and it's 23 hours all over again. Uh, this prison contains no yard, no cafeteria or classrooms and as you can see it's just locked down all day. Uh, Alcatraz was was built, but uh, this was a, a military prison at first. Uh, it was opened in 1853, but the Federal Bureau of Prisons in 1934 uh, took over it and just made it a maximum prison security for federal criminals. Uh, it housed criminals like Al Capone, Pretty Boy Floyd, or George Machine Kelly. Um, the conditions for the inmates were harsh. Uh, from a book uh, by Edward Peoples, Correction of California. Uh, Kelly, or Machine Gun Kelly was quoted, and his quote says, uh, nothing can be worse than this, no one knows what it is to suffer from the pernicious mental scrutiny. And the prison was closed in 1963, but there's no, I don't give no reasons why. Uh, many speculate that they, many people escaped, but no one really, for sure, but um, there's a one that's real common. But as a uh, as time has passed, well, we're fine. But I found this timeline, and this is how uh, people have been incarcerated, and each person is a hundred thousand. And as you see, it's so small, but it's going up. Oh, no. And 
as you see, like in 1990 to 2000, they started incarcerating by the numbers. And this has been a major thing because that's why California supposedly is spending $5.7 billion just on correctional facilities in order to house inmates. But each inmate costs $82,000 of taxpayers money each year. So I would, I don't know how about you guys, but 82000 just to keep somebody, I believe for murder and rape, it's just because it's all right, but somebody, you know, people sometimes deserve a second chance. supposed to do the oral evaluation. Does anybody remember? Me. All right. <laughs> That's probably why you remembered who hadn't spoken. Exactly. Okay. Well, go ahead. Tell us what you thought. Um, there is no um, attention to bag. Sorry. And then, um, just to I like the topic. It's interesting to me. Um, good information. We had good eye contact. I don't know if it was a little short. I wasn't really timing it. Um, you need more citations. Um, but for the most part, like you had a good speech just next time, and I would just organize it, maybe get some more information. But for the most part, like that was a good um, topic. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah, she's right. There's really you basically just start with the the topic statement yeah. instead of and right after that you had a better way of starting. You know, say in 1848 uh, the gold rush brought thousands of people to California, but among the people it brought were people who were willing to commit crimes, and that's when California had needed to start building a prison system. So today I want to talk to you about if you'd kind of just juxtapose those things, the opening would have been much more effective. Uh, you need a preview. You need to tell us where you're going to go today. You know, because at first it sounds like it's going to be historical de development of the California prison system, but after we get those first couple of illustrations of the two prisons that are being built, everything else is just by prison. You know, so here's Folsom, here's uh, San Quentin, here's Pelican Bay. You know, and it's and here's uh, Alcatraz, and so everything is really structured around those things. Uh, tell us that you want to talk about each of those individual prisons. I want to talk about the four most famous prisons in the California penal system, you know, or the four most significant prisons or whatever it is, and then talk about them um, within the context of those supporting points. That will give it a lot more structure uh, to the presentation. Pull the screen down because it, it bugged me, especially when you got to the one uh, slide with the timeline on it. It was just hard to see and yeah. to begin with, but being on top of the whiteboard, it was even more complicated to see. So think about what's going on. I, I, I know that you were trying to do things in a, you know, let's just get it done sort of way, and it's a little catch up on this situation, but I don't think that it helped. Uh, that you didn't uh, make the extra effort to plan on a couple of those things. I'd also agree that you need to cite your material more. The first four or five minutes I didn't hear any citation. In the last couple of minutes there were a couple of citations. You had the timeline and then you made also a reference to a book that you had uh, gotten some information out of. You want to be more consistent about that. The visuals are large. You use them primarily after the fact. So in other words it just seems like they're you know, we get, they're all in one section, and you ought to be using them to structure the speech more. Uh, and we can talk about that. Uh, you need to practice a little bit more um, and work on a couple of pronunciation things. I always, I'm going I'm to write these two down for my list. Remember, I told you I was going to promise myself to write more of these down. Pernicious. It was Machine Gun Kelly who used that word. It's hard to believe that a criminal like that could find that <laughs> word. But you had a tough time with it. And then uh, it's Marin County, not Marine County. Marine County would be down in Pendleton where all the, you know, oh, yeah, soldiers are. Marin County. Yeah, it's just, it's just a pronunciation thing. And it's not a big deal for me. I, you know, you didn't get downgraded on it. But that's one of those things you want to pay attention <coughs> to. Try not to make a mistake like that. The president got in trouble uh, a month or so ago 